guys and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. Today's video, I actually kind of like mentioned it a few weeks ago in my BoxyCharm unboxing, but I figured I would test out this particular product that I got in my BoxyCharm this month for the channel because when I opened it, I was like, this is actually really interesting. I haven't tried anything like this before. Might as well test it out and let you guys know what I think of it. So what I'm talking about is I got this adhesive liquid liner in my BoxyCharm base box. It's from the brand Up Heal. Now, I don't know if multiple brands make something like this, but apparently the brand Appeal does. I've never tried anything from the brand Appeal, so this will be my first time trying this brand overall and obviously anything like this. So basically what it is, it is an eyeliner that has an adhesive so that you can apply false lashes. So I am the type of person when it comes to false lashes, I mean typically I just use mascara because I'm not really going anywhere that I feel like I need false lashes. But if I do use them, I tend to stick to the magnetic ones because I have the magnetic liner and lashes from Kiss and I absolutely love them. But when it comes to lash glue, I'm not a fan. I make a mess. It's, it's terrible. It's a whole terrible experience. So I thought that this adhesive liner was interesting and maybe it'll, you know, help me to expand my horizons of false lashes and give me more of an opportunity to try different ones so that I'm not just limited to magnetic ones. So we're gonna try it out. So I have the Appeal Adhesive Liquid Liner here and then I have the Lux Lash Kit from e.l.f. I have had these lashes for a while but I haven't had any glue and when I bought them, for some reason, like I just, it didn't click to me that I would need glue for them. I don't know why, like what what was I thinking? I don't really know. But anyway, I'm gonna try these out so that if this goes terribly wrong, these lashes are only a couple dollars and I'm not wasting like my MAC lashes or I got another pair in my BoxyCharm this month. So I feel like these are a safe bet to try this out with. But before I do that, if you missed my BoxyCharm unboxing, you can always go back and watch it now. It'll be linked somewhere on this page, but if you, don't have the time to do that want to know more about this adhesive liquid liner it says here on the little card that came with the boxy charm appeal cosmetics adhesive liquid liner this is the newest and most innovative way to apply your faux lashes step aside tubes of glue this ultra fine liner is easy to apply in a hot way to spice up an eye look and this is worth 29 dollars so i feel like that's a pretty average price for like a liner um well actually probably a little more than average. I feel like typically my liner is around $20, so this is a little more expensive. So we'll have to see how this works. So I already applied my foundation for the day and full disclosure, I'm not having a good foundation day. Like I think these skincare products that I used under my foundation just made the foundation pill up and like it just looks very patchy on my skin, but I'm not going anywhere today. So I was like, you know what, this'll do for the purpose of the video. So I have foundation on, I just have my Urban Decay All Nighter foundation, which you know is my tried and true. And then I use some powder on my eyelids and like under my eyes just because I don't know how well this is going to stick to, you know, concealer liquid. Um, so I use a little powder to dry it out a bit to see if this will stick better. I just use the Clean Fresh Powder from CoverGirl. I've been using that for the past like week and I really like it. So that's what I have on my eyelid just to get this to stick. So what I'm gonna do is I have my mirror here. So I'm going to apply this eyeliner like I would my regular KVD beauty eyeliner. And first, I guess maybe I should read the directions. Okay, so it just says apply adhesive liquid liner to lash line, allow to become tacky and apply faux lashes. So I will apply it and then I'll leave it for a second. So let me apply it real quick. I'm gonna look this way so like it's gonna be hard to see on camera. As far as like just eyeliner goes, this is a very like deep black eyeliner and it applied very smoothly. So I'm very happy with that. I think it went on really nicely. I see a little patch that I got it fixed up. And I applied it as close to the lash line as possible because obviously you need it for the lashes to attach. So, oh, it came with a little, I have my uh, 
tweezers here, but this one came with a little pair of tweezers itself. So I have, oh, I don't like these tweezers, so I'll just use my regular ones. So I have my lashes here. I'm gonna give it a second to like become tacky. Just by like touch, like it feels a little tacky, but like I don't know if it's gonna be tacky enough to hold lashes, to be honest. So I'll just give it another second. Okay, so I gave it a bit to dry. It feels a little tacky, but again, I. Don't know if it's tacky enough to hold lashes, so let's see. So full disclosure, as I'm pulling these out of the box, they look like they have some glue on them from being in the box. I've had these for a while, so I'll, let's hope that my eyes don't bulge out of my head. Okay, so change of plans. I am actually going to try and use these MAC lashes. I mean, they are hella fluffy, so I can't imagine me wearing them many places, so let's try it out. Okay, so many thoughts. First things first, these are the most absurd lashes I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> they are way too fluffy for my face. Like I can't think of anywhere that I would wear something this fluffy. Like I feel like not even the camera gets the full effect of how ginormous these lashes are. Like I can't think of anywhere that I personally would wear them, but I know there are other people out there that these would look phenomenal on. I am just not one of those people. Second, I did a total hack job of applying these lashes. I, they were just too, like the lash itself before I even put it on the eyeliner was tacky. So I feel like the eyeliner definitely like, they were tacky, but I don't think they would be tacky enough to stick to my face. However, the eyeliner definitely took the lash and kind of, like, locked it in because they are, they are stuck there now. I couldn't even, like, remove them to make it look kind of better because they are just stuck. So, I definitely think that overall the eyeliner is quite tacky and it will, in fact, work to be an adhesive for your lashes. I just totally need to practice putting on lashes because with the magnetic ones, when you get close to your lash, it kind of like locks into place and it's very easy to apply. These, however, are a bit more difficult. I don't think these little tweezers helped at all. Not even my regular tweezers really helped. But in any case, I do think that the eyeliner works. I would give an A plus to the eyeliner, a not so A plus to my application of the lashes, nor the lash itself. Additionally, I feel like if I wasn't having like a bad hair day and a bad makeup day, I feel like I'd be more content with how this turned out. Um, just the lashes are really getting me, especially like this inner corner here. Like I couldn't get it to attach to like as close to my lash line as I really wanted. I think they're a little big for my face and I already have big eyes so these were really big and I probably should have trimmed them down but like I didn't. Every time I look off into the mirror here I just laugh because I feel like I look like I just botched a Halloween costume. That's how I feel. But in any case like in the tiny little viewfinder here it doesn't look too bad but in person it's not good. But that's no fault of the liner which was the purpose of this video. Overall I think the liner looks amazing. Like if you use it as just a liner, if you use it as an adhesive, I think it works as an adhesive as well. For $29, if you're saving yourself lash glue and you're getting a two-in-one kind of liner and lash glue, I think the $29 is worth the money. Um, I think this is a really neat product. Again, this is the first of its kind that I've personally tried. I don't know if there are other adhesive liners out there. If there are and like there's a certain one that you use and think is great, let me know for sure. But this one from Appeal is actually quite good. So I'm quite tacky and clearly adhesive. So I definitely would recommend if you're looking to try something other than lash glue. I think this is an awesome product, very innovative. And it hasn't irritated my eyes at all. I think it's, I'm very impressed overall. So if there are any other products out there that you're like, wow, that sounds cool. I wonder if this really works. Let me know and I'll try and get my hands on it. And you know, as always, 
for my favorite products. You can always follow my Instagram stories or my like to know it shop or my LTK shop at Brie Cutter. I always share some of my favorite products on there. I actually picked up quite a few skincare and makeup products recently that I absolutely love that I've linked on my LTK shop. So definitely check that out as well. And if you liked today's video, make sure you hit the red button down below, subscribe to my channel, click the bell next to it to be notified whenever I post and make sure you follow me on social media at Brie Cutter. And until next time, see you guys.